Time for your turn and much of the feedback regarding Watertown's zoo was written before we learned of today's news where two local businessmen are trying to help the zoo through the winter. Here's Diane Rutherford. Faced with ongoing financial woes, Zoo New York in Watertown is closed for the winter with no reopening date set. Our first message says, I'm just sick about this. All that money spent on a golf course could have saved the zoo. Tina writes, I'm hoping this is only a temporary situation until a solution's found. And this one, this will be forgotten in a few short weeks. Hundreds of you commented on the graduation that was held at Riverview Correctional Facility in Ogdensburg. Inmates there earned college degrees. Kendra writes, congratulations. I'm happy for every single one of you. Please do something good with this great opportunity. Jeff writes, I wonder how they paid for it. Oh, that's right, taxpayers did. It amazes me how the lowest of the low get privileges that law-abiding citizens don't get. And this one, data says that graduates of these programs reoffend at a rate of zero to four percent, so I think it's money well spent. A social media post of an Indian River runner finishing a race with his coach has caught the attention of thousands. Thomas Harvey overcame autism to win a Runner of the Year award. David writes, these are the things that make you know there are good people in the world. And this one, congratulations to Thomas and the coach. This is what coaching should be about. Thanks for your feedback. You're welcome to leave comments on future stories on our Facebook page. I'm Diane Rutherford.